Welcome to the Jim Florentine Comedy Metal Midgets Podcast on Riotcast.com. This week I'm going to do something a little different. I usually ask for suggestions for um, podcasts. You guys have been great on the ButterflyRadio.com uh, app that I always talk about. You guys always leave me messages and it's really cool. You can if you have an iPhone. We've gone through it before, but if you do have an iPhone, go to ButterflyRadio.com. It's a free app. It's like a radio station. You can leave me messages. And a lot of you guys have been leaving me good ideas for podcasts. Um, a couple of them that were left in the last week or so that I will definitely get to is the good friend, the friend zone, about being a good friend to chicks. I have a whole thing on that. I'm going to fucking go off on that. I have a lot of experience and a lot of... Yeah, a lot of experience of being the good friend and getting tortured for years. So that will be upcoming, definitely. And I, I forgot who suggested that, but I'll give you a plug when I find out when I do it. But I know that came off of Blood of Five Radio. And then also um, someone else recommended about all TV shows, like sitcoms and TV commercials, how the guy is always dumb and the women's always smart. And I've been raving, raging and raving about that for years. How, you know, they always make the guy look dumb and he's the idiot because that's the safe way because nobody's going to complain because if you, you know, you make the woman look dumb, then there's a problem. You're sexist. So that's another podcast that will definitely be coming in a few weeks too. So thank you for the great ideas. Sometimes they just, you know, they slip my mind. The man caves. Uh, one, you know, you guys left me one and I was like, fucking perfect. So there was another one you guys one, one uh, mentioned about doing a thing about stupid bu- bumper stickers on cars. Uh, I'm going to try. I don't know if there's enough material there because you don't see too many, but I know they got the honor roll kid. So I might be able to come up with something. So that's an idea I wrote down. So that might be coming too uh, pretty soon. But a guy named Sean Lowney sent me an email. You can send me emails. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I guess the email address is out there. But Jim Florentine, the number 13 at gmail.com. If you got us some ideas or want to comment on the podcast or whatever, you can also send them there or do it through Butterfly. Um, he sent me an email about a podcast, an idea, but he basically just wrote out a fucking tirade of a podcast in the email. It's about golf and the Masters that's going on right now. Now, I'm not a big golf fan. See, I would never do a podcast, and it's only because I don't follow golf. I don't give a shit. I never watch one second of it. I've played it maybe twice in my life. I was a lefty. I'm a lefty, so they never had. No one ever had lefty clubs. And then even at the even at you know to try to rent them, they only had one set, and they were already out, or they did have a set, and then I have to rent clubs. I couldn't borrow my friend's clubs, so I was just like, "Fuck it, it's just stupid." Just chasing a ball around all day. You know, I guess if, you know, you want to get some sun and get out of the house, that's all right. That's the only reason I would do it. But it's fucking stupid. It's mostly for guys that just don't don't want to be around their wives, which, you know, I understand if you're in a bad relationship, you want to get the fuck out of the house. But it's just dumb to me. Dumb outfits. They wear stupid things. They dress goofy. They fucking spend eight hours out there, you know, just fucking hitting a ball and getting on a cart and... They take it too serious. There's no joking around or any of that shit. I don't know. It's not my fucking thing at all. Plus, com- a lot of comics play golf. My buddy Rich Voss plays golf, and I guess he's really good at it. And it's, you know, it's his hobby. He's, he's been sober for like 28 years, so he needs to keep something. You know, he needs to get another fucking habit. Another thing he's addicted to to keep him sober. So, you know, I got no problem with him playing, but... As a comic, that you know, a lot of comics play and they're on the road, but you have to get up at like 7 in the morning to get on a course. To go play, I'm like, I'm not getting up at seven in the morning. Now I got a kid, I have to, but before, there's no way. I'm like, fuck you, kidding me? I'm sleeping in, man. I'm going to sleep at two, and I'm getting up at ten. Why would I want to get up to play golf? There's no chicks around. There's nothing. There's nothing fun about it. So I've never, never got into it. Not getting up early. If it started at like noon, I got maybe I'll give it a shot. But I don't want to play eighteen holes. I don't want to waste the whole day. Then you're exhausted. By the end of the day, we got to do shows at night. Fuck that. Never watch it on TV. It's fucking... Yeah, people say baseball's boring to watch. Golf is way worse to watch on TV. I, everybody, everywhere I walk today, the Masters on, everyone's walking around. Oh, what's Tiger doing? Who gives a shit? 
Not my thing at all. So I don't really know too much about it to even do a full podcast on it, the Masters and all that shit. So, because I never watch it, I'm not, you know. But Sean sent me a great email about golf and the Masters. And I'm basically going to, what I'm going to do before we start, Gary from Florida, it will be on the this week's podcast. But I'm going to do Sean's rant that he sent me in an email about golf and the Masters. I think it's really good. And it's definitely something I would say if I knew more about it. So this is the fucking goofy golf and the stupid masters by Sean Lowney. I hate watching it every year and I hate everything about it. Jim Nance is a dick. The place is filled with entitled fat white richies and their fat dads and their chubby fat wives. We go every year. It's a tradition like unlike any other. Why after every single every single fucking shot does one asshole have to yell something? Every single time. It's never funny. Get in a hole. Holy fuck, how gay. You the man, tiger. Somebody yelled out Baba Booey on Thursday. That's fucking, that's, that's fine. Take that. Then he's like, the chummy broadcast with either gay in jokes and way too self-serious tone commenting as if this is life or death. The fucking whispering. You'd swear they were covering D-Day. Jim, we received word Saturday. Tiger was summoned to Butler Cabin to discuss Rule 301.3. Holy fuck. A fan narked on him. That's right. Seriously, think of how gay a sport is that one of their fans actually calls in to fucking nark on their superstar. Imagine trying to call the NFL during halftime of a Jet Dolphin game to report on a rules infraction. How about the gallery, the patrons? For one week in a year, you get you get to actually see what it's like to be a be a country club member. It's almost like this is their version of Vegas. Like instead of getting drunk and going to strip clubs, they go to watch other guys golf with their wives and dress like their favorite golfer, and even wear fucking golf shoes. This is the golf equipment of a forty year old guy who brings his glove to baseball games. And what's with the fucking white belts and green or pink shirts and tight white pants? Girls don't even dress like that. Yet these are adult men hoping to be seen wearing these outfits. I hate hearing how it's so fucking amazing there. Gay bird chirping noises, pine needles. Who gives two fucks? The sandwiches. Holy shit, they are fucking great and cheap too. Meanwhile, every attendee is like a fucking CEO of a company of their gay son-in-laws or underlings who flew on a private jet that has to groan on, groan on and on about how cheap the delicious food is. And it's so great you can only get one type of sandwich. They tell you what to eat. Get it? What the fuck is a pimento? Pimento, anyway. I don't even know what the hell it is. The terminology is so fucking dumb. It was, a do- it was a dog leg left, so I hit a draw with my fade, but I left the blade open so I could lay up. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. And the players' names? They are so entitled and douchey. If not for the Masters, I'd have had no idea parents named their, chick- their children names like, like this. I dare you to read a listing of the top 100 players' names and find a normal one. Most have fucked up first and last names. All have either a fucked up first or last name, or their second or third. How fucking pompous. I'll name my son after me, and he'll name his son after me, and him and me. I just can't stand the quaint touches that you hear about year after year after year. Ooh, I wonder what Rory, whoever fucking won, is going to serve for dinner. He won last year, so he gets to pick the championship dinner menu. Holy fuck. There should be an entire podcast to how fucking much of a dick Jim Nance is. Ooh, let's go to Jim Nance in Butler Cabin. Nothing screams douche like Jim Nance sitting by a roaring fire in Butler Cabin. He's like the poster boy for rich, entitled white men. Every year, he gets to ruin both the Final Four and the Masters. Hello, friends. Holy fuck, I hate him so much. For the Masters next year, they should douse him with gasoline and set him on fire. Now that I would pay to watch. I would love to watch that green jacket ceremony year after year. 
Sorry, dude. I I know you only wanted ideas, but please get these rich country club motherfuckers. P.S. Love the podcast. Rock of Ages will always be epic, but you've been on a roll lately. Whew. That was awesome. A lot of rage and venom, and I like that. I didn't even know half that stuff went on. The guy who wins the Masters, he picks the menu for the next year. Oh, God. I, yeah. Oh, is that douchey? Who gives a fuck? Just eat a steak. You just played 18, you know, fucking holes of golf. You made a, a million dollars. Go eat a nice steak. I got to pick the menu. Wow, that's fun. That's exciting. I bring my sandwiches. Boy, does that really stink. Holy shit. Well, thank you, Sean Lowney. That's fucking beautiful. It's very topical because it will be, uh, you know, be like a day after the Masters is over. So thanks. That was fucking awesome. You got me all fired up reading it. Like, are you kidding me? I, I, uh, one thing, um, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't watch Jim Nance when he does that stuff. As fo- football, I like him. He's a good announcer. He doesn't bother me. Nance and Sims, I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure to do the football games. Nance is fine. But I don't know what he does with the Masters and the NCAA, whatever shit. So, um, anyway, that was great. Thank you, Sean Lowney. Now let's get down to business. Um, Tweaked Audio is sponsoring the podcast. You guys have been really uh, helping out by getting new earbuds. If you guys don't know, a Tweaked Audio is a new sponsor for the podcast. They got great earbuds. Earbuds, they're very cheap. It's free shipping, and there's lifetime guarantee. Um. Yes, they have a bunch of different colors. There's seven or eight different colors. No white. Seven styles. Uh, they're good for music and talk. Engineer for durability. Noise reducing design. Compatible with iPods, iPhones, Android devices, all MP3 players, most phones. And what happens is, if you go to tweakedaudio.com, you'll get a third off. If you use the promo code MIDGETS for my podcast, Comedy Metal Midgets. So go there. Lifetime lifetime limited warranty, free shipping, and a third off if you use the promo code MIDGETS. And, you know, they, they range from fourteen ninety five to thirty nine ninety five. They got some really good ones. They sent it over a bunch of samples. I've been using them and passing them out. So support them if you can. If you need some earbuds, this is the place to go. TweakedAudio.com. And you'll get 33% off by using the promo code MIDGETS. And I mentioned ButterflyRadio.com. You guys have really been uh, sending messages over and stuff. It's it's a great little thing. It's free, too. So go check it out. Uh, download the app. It, it only works on an iPhone. And leave messages and ideas for podcasts and talk metal or whatever. Speaking of metal, um, that metal show uh, for the metal fans out there, the new season will be coming back in June. And... Um, First or second week in June, we're taping at the end of April. We'll be out in L.A. for 10 days doing new shows and new episodes in June. So look for that. It'll be our 12th season. We've done about 115, 20 episodes. been on almost five years. So um, check that out. And speaking of metal, new metal that just came out. I don't know if you guys are metal fans, but if um, the new Kill Switch Engage record is great. They got the original singer back, and... Um, it's a really good record. I was always, you know, they had a pretty good kill switch, but this new record is phenomenal. I don't know what it's called. I forget, but you'll see it. It's the only, you know, you'll, you could, you guys can hunt it down. But that, the new Volbeat, there's a band out of Denmark called Volbeat, and they've been, um, they've been around. They've got like four or five records out, but they're ready to blow up. And um, I've, I've been a fan of them for like two or three years. They got a great new disc out called uh, Something Gentlemen and Shady Girls or some shit. Um, give me a second, but you there, I, I don't know how to describe them, but they're, you know, hard to might be playing them on the radio, but check them out. Full beat. I think you might like them and it's a different kind of sound, you know, um, and people really dig them and they're really getting big. So give me one second here. Outlaw gentlemen and shady ladies is the new Volbeat. Check that out. The new stone sour, uh, house of golden bones. Part two is great. It's a follow up to the part one that came out in October. Corey Taylor's on a roll. And then also um, the new Clutch. If you guys are Clutch fans, Earth Rocker is their new CD. It's their best one in a long time. It's really good. Uh, they got a great, like, friggin' blues song on there called Gone Cold. It's fucking awesome. One of my favorite songs I've been listening to now. Uh, all right. 
Amazon.com. One more thing before we get to Gary. Amazon.com. If you guys are shopping there, just go to my website, jimflorentine.com. Click on the Amazon button shop from there, and I get a few uh, pennies from the podcast. So just to help support. You guys have been donating. Um, speaking of metal and rock, which I was, I am doing the Rock on the Range Festival in uh, Columbus, Ohio, May 17, 18, and 19. Smashing Pumpkins are playing Corn, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Full Beats on that show. The band Ghost that I love is on that show. Buck Cherry's on. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Hailstorm's on. And there's a comedy tent, and uh, I'm going to be doing comedy there on the Saturday and Sunday. I'm not sure the set times yet, but if you're in Columbus and you're going to that festival, I'll be doing two sets. So I'm psyched about that, man. I love doing these uh, these metal fucking concerts. They're tough. They're, they're not easy crowds, but you know I got enough. I got 20 minutes of dick jokes to plow through. So a professional. Now let's get to uh, the main event. Gary from Florida is back. Took him a long time to track him down. He's very elusive. He never answers phone calls. He barely texts. His voicemails are always full. Can never get him on the phone, but then he just shows up. I'm in Orlando. He lives in Fort Lauderdale, so he drove up and uh, hung for the weekend, and we finally nailed him down. Me and the other comedian that I'm working with, Joe Howard, my buddy, um, trying to get an update on the girls he's banging and what's been going on since last time he's been on. He's got a very big following. People go crazy over Gary from Florida. People at the Improv in Orlando last night were seeking him out because I told them he was going to be there. So people met him, and they're like, oh, dude, we're a huge fan. He's like, what the fuck's going on here? So um, he is back. Now, the problem is he's a little all over the place with this. He had a few cocktails. We were trying to keep him sober. It was one in the afternoon, but he decided to down some vodka. And he's always better when he's sober. When he's drunk, he's fucking really funny, but he doesn't make a lot of sense. So... We tried to limit it. He kept sneaking them. He kept guzzling a couple of vodkas. So there are some gems in here, though. There definitely is. He's a little wild, and we try to corral him in and stuff. But he has some really funny stuff in here. So this is uh, Gary from Florida returns to the podcast. My big slob friend who's just a degenerate, a creep, and a great guy. And then, um, all right, so listen to Gary. And then we always end the podcast with a prank call. This one is from my Crank Anchors days when I played the character Bobby Fletcher. And this one is called uh, Bobby Fletcher Needs a Locksmith. And I call a locksmith up and I fuck with him. All right, man. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for supporting the co- podcast as always. Nice. All right. We are here with um, Joe Howard and Gary from Florida. Jeez. Wait, Joe, you got to get closer to him. Okay. You guys got to fucking... Yeah. All right, we got to... Joe, sit on my fucking, on sit my fucking lap, fella. Get off me. Get, get. We're in Gary's uh, hotel room down Jesus in Orlando, Christ. Florida. It's uh, 1.30 well, in the touch afternoon. Touch my knee, fella. He's had about three cocktails so far. We're trying to keep him sober. <laughs> it's so, it's a battle. so he makes sense. Yeah. Um... Gary's a big hit on the podcast. He's got a. DJ. <laughs> See, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> we, we've been trying to keep him sober. It's 1 30. We're trying to keep him sober just to finish the podcast. He's way better when he's sober and he actually makes sense. Can you talk about your bidet, Gary? No, we've already gone over to oh, bidet. You did? Oh, okay. the bidet. Yeah, yeah. He's did a whole thing on the bidet. But, okay. like, since the last time we talked to him, though, he. Um, it's been a while, so we need an update on his sex life. Right now, he is uh, banging a 59-year-old. She'll be 60 fucking tomorrow, fella. All right? Got hair like an orangutan. It's in fucking insane. <laughs> I mean, come on. When you go and you look at somebody's ass and there's more hair on that ass than Joe Howard's fucking head, that's disgusting, man. Come on. Look at me. Wait, so she's 59 now. She'll be, she'll be 60 tomorrow. It's beautiful, man. She'll be 60 when? Monday, yeah. On Monday. All right. So now, but you have a history. Like you had, you had sex with her when she was like, tw- like how long? Thirty uh, years ago. Yeah, man. I was twenty, twenty, twenty-one when I used to bang her. Yeah. And she was like thirty. Well, yeah. Well, you do the math. Something huh? like that. All right. So thirty years ago, almost. Now she's got hair on her ass. It's it's hideous. And you said she's very hairy down there. <laughs> Is she very hairy down there? No, seriously, how, what does it look like? Like a fucking, oh my God, man. It's like when you're brushing your hair, Jim, and you fucking look at your comb. Holy Christ, 
That's what it looks like. It's a lot. Is there any gray pubic hair? Yeah, there's fifty nine. The, no, there's no gray pubic hairs. But Jesus Christ, would you? I mean, you, there's a handful down there, fella. It's brutal. Have you seen? When's the last time you saw one that? I hairy? sniffed that fucking thing like seven weeks ago. <laughs> Now, does it turn you off? Do you still go down or no when you see it that hairy? I'm hitting it from behind. I'm not seeing it. I got a magnifying glass underneath it. And I'm trying to burn those fucking hairs off. Like, God <laughs> damn. You know, I'm banging in the backyard, the sun shining. You know, I, I got the magnifying glass. I'm trying to burn them fucking pubes off. Look at me. <laughs> no, but you said, but you, but you told me. You told me and Joe that you went down on her. Yeah. When? Yesterday you did. Yeah, well, I probably did. But yeah, whatever. Hey, you know, I closed my eyes, man. You know, you close your eyes, you put a blindfold on yourself. When you're eating some fucking chick's box, what do you think? What are you doing? When they fucking blow you, they're closing their eyes, too. Yeah, please. Joe, you want to inquire on this? You can, fella. I mean, help me out here, fella. I mean, girls, I mean, yeah, I guess girls do close their eyes when they blow guys. Oh, look at me, they're going to close. I just, Gary look said, at my gut, they're going to close their fucking eyes. Gary said, Gary said the funniest thing yesterday in the green room that I wanted to touch upon was, uh, what about uh, your ST, you had STDs, remember? Remember what you what? said? Ball blister, wall of water. Yeah, well, well, no, well, first he called me a couple beautiful. weeks ago and he said that he has a... Um, uh, I had a blister on my ball sack. Know, or like a wart on his balls the size of a CD. <laughs> yeah, you know the hole. You know the hole in the CD. Yeah, that was it. Was fucking beautiful that thing. It was shining like the sunshine. My God Almighty! So what was it? Did you find out it what was it was? A fucking blister, fella. You know. Is it still that? What were you doing? You were putting stuff on it to get rid of it. Yeah, I, st- I, I stuck a uh, fucking ball wart blister on it or whatever. No, you said you were putting some stuff on it, like Vaseline or something. Um, yeah, whatever it was called, I don't remember. It, it, it's gone. Listen, it's not a sexual disease. You, you know, when you bend over and fucking pick up all the shit that I gotta pick up, you gotta, you know, listen, you sweat down there like a girl does. Wait you know a minute, I mean? wait, let's back up for a second. So he works, he's got his liquor store, Sonny's Liquors. Yeah. My fucking, I had ball blister wart, it was called. All right, so he thinks that he got it from moving boxes, picking up boxes, yeah, and bending over. Sweating your ass off, what do you think, No. No, I don't no. think so. What do you I think? It's from a fucking girl's vagina? Or? I think it was a general award. Maybe a fucking girl's ass. I don't know. It was something. Because I, said- I fuck more chicks in the ass than I do in a vagina. I used to work at Roadway Trucking and unload boxes eight hours a day, five days a week. Yeah. And I never had anything growing Yeah, but he was always on break, the fucking guy. He no. never worked. I worked Please. in a factory as well. Yeah, it never you, happened. Yeah, people bend over and pick up stuff. You never had a blister on your ball sack that looked like a fucking zit? Never? Never. 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 Well, you're a young fella. Look at me! No, I'm telling you. You said yesterday you had general awards and they were a conversation piece. Well, I had ball blister fucking... <laughs> blo- ball blister... What did I tell you I ball had? Ball blister wart. But what, right. what, what, what did you That have, was a week ago. Did you have sex with any girls? No, that was... Ne- ne- negative. I did not. Now, why? Did you do it because you didn't want... It? You were afraid they... Actually, you know what? It was there for a week. It was gone. I put the shit on it. went away and fucking, you know... What did you It's like a zit on your face. Um, blister be gone. I think it was called. But would you have would you have had sex with? Of course I would have. Why not? On there. Why do I care? I'd let those fucking balls slap on her chin, her cheek, her lip. You wouldn't care about if it was some kind of. You wouldn't care if it was some kind of STD about giving it to her. Yeah, nothing. I don't. Not why should I? Look at me, fella. Yeah, but you would want a girl to be responsible if she well, had Well, listen, next time I see her, if she had something on her lip, I don't want, hey, what, what the fuck, did you, where'd you get that from, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Look at fucking me. Look at that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> where'd you get that from? Here, stay to the left. Let me pop that fucking thing you got on your lip. <laughs> Whose cock you suck? Roll out of my... So let's get back to the 59-year-old. Yeah. So 30 years ago, you had sex with her. Now she's going to be 60 in like a week. She'll be 60 tomorrow, yeah. 60 oh, tomorrow. Can't wait to fucking hit that thing. And what did you do? Did you do everything with her? What did you do with her? When? When? Just the, the last time you had sex with her. Everything, dude. Fuck, I never had no sex with her, man. She, she likes that. Though. You haven't hit her in the I shitter yet? I haven't hit her in the shitter in fucking 30 years, fella. 
So you okay. did back in the day. Put that fucking dildo away because they're going to ram it up her ass. Wait, right? but you, you did back in the I day? I did, yes. We had anal sex. It was ph- phenomenal. Now, yeah. how come you haven't had it? So you haven't had it well, since? Well, you know, since you got to work the thing in. You know what I mean? You just can't ram it in there, fella. Get that motherfucker out of my face, boy. But have you, have you, have you asked her about doing it? No, but we will, fella. How do you know? Look at me. No, seriously. I mean, Look like, at how, me, John. How are you going to bring it up? Look at me! <laughs> well, I'm just going to start, you know, hey... Here I am. I'm trying to. I'm imitating me pulling my fucking mule out. I'm gonna just jam it in the fuck. Gary, though, seriously, like she's sixty. Does she have? She has great. Dude, she looks like that asshole hair is great. She looks like she's forty five years old. She's unbelievable looking, man. What her pussy hair probably looks like sauerkraut, right? No, it's it's darker than her hair. You know, she's a sixty. She's got black hair. She's Italian girl, dude. I mean, she dyes it. Oh yeah, she's got to, man. She's got to comb those pubes. She should shave the fucking thing. Well, why don't you tell her? Well, you know, at that age, you know, this is a different generation, you know what I mean? Me, I'm fucking, I'm, I, I look like fucking Fred Flintstone, man, my fucking mule sack. You know, there's nothing down there. It's, it's, I'm shining fucking glee, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe you just had an ingrown hair. That's what the... I f- had two of them. Yeah. Like, I wanted my fucking toenail right now. I want to pull this fucker out or what? So now you really think that you got that blister on your balls, whatever it was, from bending over and picking up boxes. Well, I mean, I look at it this way. I'm thinking back, how many fucking broads did I bang? Yeah. Maybe 12 this year. Or this year. In 2012. 2012. Sure. What happened before the 59-year-old? There was somebody else you went on a date with? A yeah, it was ba- I haven't had ball fucking blister wart in fucking years. I mean, I told you the last time I had it. It was, how, was I 20? But, so, we called it a different name, though. I can't remember. That what? fucking thing out of my face. It's fella. a microphone. It's you like a fucking talk, mule It's juice. a microphone. You have to talk. I don't have to talk in that fucking yeah, thing. You like, yeah, yeah, you do. You kind of do. 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 It's a podcast. Fuck it, man. How do you get so drunk so fast? It's the he middle has, of the day. He, he has this it's one swig of vodka and he's completely hammered. It's what do you mean, man? It's almost like you're a lightweight professional. It's yeah. very strange. Shut your hole, man. Listen, <laughs> it's, we're going to wrestle. It's it, almost man. like a chick that goes on a bachelorette party and hasn't drank in like eight years and has I've never seen a, anything a glass like of it. champagne it's, it's and insane. she's puking after an hour. Yeah. I had a beer, fella. Yeah, you had a beer and like a little bit of vodka and you're fucking, you're out of your mind. It, it's so instant. I'm always out of my fucking mind. I don't understand it. <laughs> Really? I don't understand what the fuck you're talking about. I'm always that fucking wag. It's just, wow. Fuck it, man. It's shocking. It's shocking. This is like... All right. So, well, look, let's just get back to it. Let's get on track just for a second. I'm trying to get back just on focus. track to this focus. fucking girl's vagina. All right. Yeah. The, besides the 59-year-old, who was the one before you had sex with? Besides oh, I, the I think I called you up at 12 o'clock at night, man. All right. So what happened there? Yeah, oh. You answered your phone. We were trying to get on. We were trying to do an uh, uh, iPod, but... I guess it was like 12 o'clock at night. She was spraying me all over the fucking place, that chick. I'm hitting it on the bed. Woo! Over my couch. Woo! Oh, in my squirt. bed. Oh, she was a fucking squirter, dude. Forget about it, All man. over your bed. Oh, my bed, my couch. I had to get my head to buy a new couch. Got to get rid of the fucking thing. <laughs> you got to buy a new couch? She fucking sprayed all over my couch. It was, it was like my clothes, my rug I had down. I had to get rid of every fucking thing. She was a sprayer. Oh, my God. It was fucking. It was phenomenal. I've never seen anybody. You know, I, check out these new eyelids I got. They're new too. <laughs> so what? So did you know? You didn't know she was a sprayer until she started I had spraying. No clue, man. She, she, when I was hitting it from behind, she goes, "I just want to let you know that I'm a sprayer." She said, and she sprayed. And what did man, you say? Cool, dude. We were in my bed after she sprayed like three times in my bed. I went. I got my flippers on, my fucking mask, and my snorkel. It was fucking. It was unbelievable. She's sp- It's hitting me. You, you know your windshield wipers on your car. That's what the fuck I needed. This shit was hitting me so hard. I'm flapping in my bed like you couldn't believe. And it's a good thing I had that snorkel going because I couldn't fucking breathe, man. She was spraying. Where's that shit come from, man? It was spraying all over the place. It was fucking it hitting a fan, the ceiling fan, hitting. The, it was beautiful. I mean, it's. You know, she she still calls me to today. Did, did, did she spray in your face? I drank it. What did it taste like? Apple juice. <laughs> 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 what? 
So now wait, did, so, so this is in your apartment in your my, bed. My house, my bed. My so what did you do? Did she stay over? Did you guys just lay in the wetness? She like, fucking, she goes, can you get some towel? I got some towel. We, we slept. Yeah, man. We slept there all fucking night. Did it you was put great. towels down after? We got towels. Day. It was great. You know why? Because I got towels. I woke up in the morning time going with a hard on, as most guys do. You know, right. look at me. I'm packing fucking, well, it used to be eight and a half. Now I'm fucking six and the 16th. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I woke up with a fucking hard on. She's on my couch. She's got a towel. My, my, uh, not my towel, my, uh. What you, a bathrobe wrapped around her. I went on the fucking couch, and she started sucking my cock again. Beautiful at 7 o'clock in the morning. Was, Wait, why was she on the couch and you were in the like, bed? Maybe I was farting all night. Who knows? Storing? <laughs> storing? <laughs> farting? Maybe she couldn't stand the wetness. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> really? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm fucking soaking in suds is what I was doing, man. I was sleeping in suds. It was so you got up and you went on. Uh, she was on the couch. I woke up with a fucking hard on six and the sixteenth. I used to be in the eighth, but uh, the right. thing was like yeah, not even the size of my palm. It was fucking. I was like, wow. She's on the couch. I guess she was watching fucking CNN. Who knows? And she started sucking my cock. Beautiful. How did it taste? How did what? How did, how did what taste? <laughs> what are you out of your fucking mind or what? She tasted pretty fucking good, man. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I told her I wanted to bang her up to shit her, but not, not that night. She'll be over next week. It's unfucking believable. You know. So have you seen her since then? No. How come? Now, was that the first date? No, I banged her years back. And she just came around again. But did, didn't you know she was a squirter from years back? No, man, she never squirted. You know, she, listen, when you look at me, you're going to squirt. Yeah, but she didn't squirt with you last time. No, you know what? Maybe that was not good. You know what I mean? When you're the last time I was eight and an eight, now I'm six and a sixteenth, so I must have hit something different. When you're six and a sixteenth, it's a different story. So you think that maybe because you're six and a sixteenth? Might have had now. my pinky up her ass. I don't even remember. Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that maybe because you're six and you shrunk that you hit something right. different, and that set off the. You know, when you're big, you can't hit everything. When you're small, you hit all those little fucking dimensions that they got there. Fucking his. What dimensions? It's all those right. fucking his. They're all the same. No, but what do you mean? What no, dimensions? The the, the clitoris or a thing. You know what? Uh, that thing. Why is there other stuff in there too? Well, there's an ass. Yeah, there's other things, man. There's vagina hairs, ass hairs. I have a question for Gary. Gary, you have, you ever, have you ever? Uh, you have a girl eat your ass? Do you like that? Is that your? Is that? Do your I what? Ass? Have a girl eat your ass? Yeah, they, they have. They have? Is that I'm shaved, fella. I'm like a fucking eight-year-old. You know what you I mean? You keep it? You keep it? Oh, yeah. You know, I, sh- I keep it clean. How do you shave it? Like, Yeah, it's in the process? fucking shower. I got, you know, um, 19, what does it call that? Fucking 9061. You put it all over your cock, your mule, your... Blah, blah, blah. No, what is that? 9061. What is yeah, it? Shave I shave I use a razor blade, fella. Come on. What is like it? Ra- it? But what's 906? What are you talking about? Yeah, 906, a shaving cream, whatever it's called. See, so where do you put it? I put it all over my balls, my fucking mule, you know. And your ass, too? I clean it right up, fella. And your ass, too? Then when I get out, I got a bidet at home, too, so it's very hot. When you sit on it, it burns all the hairs off your ass. It's got a dryer on it, too. How often do you shave your ass? Yeah, every week. You know, after after you sit on a bidet, fella, you hit the dryer, it burns all, you know, that, you get a little stench in your house when it's drying your mule, you know. It's like a blow dryer. You know what I mean? You stick it too close to your head. It's like a blow dryer. Something. Yeah, but you last time we you were on the podcast, you just got you had some um, hemorrhoids. Oh, they're gone, fellas. Thank God. Holy Christ. I had to go to the doctor for them fucking things. He looked at them and went, holy shit, call this guy. I ain't never seen anything like that before in my life. It looked like an apple tree, he told me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> he had you on all fours, the doctor, and he was looking at your hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a good thing his middle finger looks like my pinky. I would have fucking knocked him in the head. He looked at my fucking ass and said, "Holy shit, Gary! You better call this guy." 
Oh, Wait, so what position you were in? What yeah, I was on my hands and I said, Doc, I need some fucking help. I'm in pain, man. Because you woke up in a puddle of blood or something. Yeah, right? I was in a puddle of fucking blood, fella. Okay. I, was, so I thought maybe blood. I might have committed suicide that fucking night. But a puddle yeah, of blood. Yeah, a puddle of blood, you know, eight inches by eight inches. But you know what I mean? So wait, were you on all fours in his doctor's or were you bent over a table? How I was bent it? over a table. He said, pull your pants down. I said, Doc, come on, man. Look, did, did look at fucking me. Did you have to spread your cheeks for him? I didn't have to spread my cheeks. He spread them for me, but... He was like, man, you got a nice ass. But, I mean, <laughs> it just but looked it, like a bunch of grapes. When I fucking, yeah. when, I, when I pulled my pants down, he said, holy Christ, your ass should be in the Washington State Monument. He said, because you look like an apple tree. He said, I thought, oh, my God. But why? But since you shave your ass once a week, you think you would have felt those hemorrhoids as you yeah, sliding first, over with the razor. It's the first time I ever had them in my life, man. I never had them before. It's so fucking brutal. Anyway. Her vagina looked like that after I got the bang in it. Whose? <laughs> well, I ain't gonna say no names, but no, I mean, after I got done banging her fucking, bur- well, Squirt her, right? not her, the other one, the porno star. <laughs> oh, when I was back after I got done banging that fucking pussy, it was insane. Her vagina lips were so swollen she needed a doctor. When you're fucking somebody on fifty grand worth of Hennessy, fella, it's it's worth it. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. You don't even have to leave the table. You just take a straw, you stick it in, and you drink it. You know, she's sucking cock and fucking Hennessy all day long. Please, look at me. <laughs> it's gone off the rail. I, 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 I went the other way, fella. Look at me. Who cares? I tried, Joe. All right, wait. So Look at me. There was look at me, Joe. Come I'm on. looking at you, fella. All right, listen. Before the 59-year-old, there was a squirter, but there was another one in there, too, that you went on a date with. Then you were like a first or a second date, and you brought her back to your place or something. She was like 42 or something. Yeah, she was. Well, who's in recently? There was another one in there, too. Oh, that's fucking nice. I brought she was like four, She was 44. And where did you meet her? On plentyoffish.com? Who? The what? No. I met her. She came to my store, man. Look at me. Fucking and what I did you say when she came to Sonny's store? Liquors. Cheapest prices in fucking town. What did she say when you came? What did you say to you her? Wanna you want to fuck me? Or, no. um, the fuck did I say to her? Where did I meet her? I met her on a club somewhere, man. Um, Christopher's or something I met her at. Joseph's I met her at. You know, like six weeks, six months ago, whatever. Who the fuck knows? And what happened? She sucked the fucking chrome off my trailer. No, but I, so, but no, you, you're skipping around. There was one before the squirter, right before the squirter. Like the last three girls you had sex with is the 59-year-old, the squirter, and there was another one in there. We need to know that story. Why? That's the update. What update? There's no update. There is an update. There was one in my there. My fucking mule's beautiful. They all love me. She, oh, she was from, uh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's coming back. Yeah, there we go. Well, I forget, fella. There's so many fucking who's out there, you know. I, yeah, yeah, I remember her, man. Now, who was Dominican she? Republic she was from. How old? 44. Where did you meet her? Win dixie oh So you're God. in the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, so I was getting vegetables. That? I was holding up a fucking uh, cucumber. No, seriously, how did you meet her? I was dixie? holding up a fucking cucumber, fella. What did I you did. say to her? Mine's fucking nice. I met her at Winn Dixie, walking around in the store. I kept following her, and she she smiled at me two or three times. I kept going up and down the aisle, and then we started talking. Boom! And then I got what? her phone number, and I took her out maybe a week later, and then we hung out. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So you took her out. Where did you take her? You take her to dinner? Yeah, I took her to dinner. We we had dinner. Um, you know, um. I ain't going to say the place or not. All right, so that's fine. So you took her to dinner, and then what happens after dinner? Yeah, man, I dropped her off, man, back her in her car. It took me like three or four times to hit that thing. So nothing, that you didn't even nothing. Like kiss Can the first know? night? I kissed her. You made out, tongue? Mm, the first night, no. Nope. Were you away. pissed when you pulled kissed away? Kissed on the cheek. I went home and whacked my fucking bag. So then date Six t- and the 16th. So then date two, what happens? You said it took you like three or four days? Yeah, man. You never wait that long. Well, look at me, I'm old, man. Yeah, second time went out, maybe got a little tongue from her, kissed her. Where did you take her, another day? Yeah, no, we just went, had a couple of drinks somewhere. Actually, in yeah, Coral Springs somewhere, we, we had a couple of drinks. The okay. Third, the third time. And did you make out with her after the second day? No, got a little tongue from her. 
Third time, brought her back to my place, fella. That's where. Did fucking, you, you have drinks first? That's or where Mega Tour came out. <laughs> but did you have? Where did you take a drink? Yeah, we were fucking drinking. I got a fucking Jesus Christ! I got a bar bigger than fucking anybody you know, fella. Look at me. But did you take her out? You took her to dinner, and we went to her. actually the third time. I met her at Fridays. See, I, these, that's why you got to keep digging. Yeah, Fridays, yeah, I know. What a shit place that is. Yeah, man. no shit. So you took her to Fridays. Friday. Well, I met her on Fridays. We had a couple of drinks. We went back to my place. Yeah, third time. That was it. She was mine. All right, so then what happens when you got to just go go slowly instead yeah, of just going, I'm, uh, I'm thinking, like dude, that. Jesus Christ, yeah. what the fuck? How do you I not mean, remember that? It was like well, I mean, was, ago. I got laid, big deal. What's the fucking big deal? Yeah, Listen, but it's something I, new. I, I was whipping the fucking dryer or something. Joe, Joe, when you know... When well, Joe, somebody, you guys are married. You no, know listen, every fucking thing. I'm listen, not... When, when it's something new, right, the first time, you'll yeah. remember every move well, look at you get back to your place. Yeah. 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 Every second. You're right. married, that's he's why. He's doing a bad job. It's unbelievable. I know, he's and all I, over the place. He's all over, and I love Gary, and I say it with... Fuck you, man. I say it with... Uh, you're having a bad set right now. You're, you're, at, you're doing a bad very set. badly, and it's and it's just... And it's, I told you, it was those cocktails. Like, we're trying to keep the vodka away Fuck from you. The vodka you're time. all over the place. Vodka you're not time. fucking making Fucks sense. The, the first thing. part was good. I don't give a fuck. Look at me. But but just, I, just focus for two seconds. You made seconds. me laugh a million times last night. I know. When he's sober, now he's just all over the place. And Gary is a glorious piece of shit, and I mean that. He is. Fucking, he is. And he's got gems in him. He's got gems. Yeah. You just hit the mind for him. I know. You just, like, <laughs> oh, whatever. It's listen, it is, listen, you got your good days, your bad days, and every fucking other day, man. You All right, you mean? just focus for a second. So, so you bring her back. It's the third day. You have a couple drinks at Fridays, and then what happens? Like, how do you make the move? Do you have her on your couch? Do you bring her right to the bedroom? Do you make drinks at your apartment? Does she I gotta, stay I gotta, over I got to start night? recording all this shit because, I mean, you guys are fucking married. I'm a single guy. I, you think I remember every fucking move I make? Well, the first time you, you say, got the girl's pants, you're going to remember exactly how it went No, down. you don't remember, man. Uh, you remember the squirt or you remember the 59 was fucking. They, those were fantastic days, man. When I get back to the squirt. God almighty. All right, so did you have so you had sex with the Dominican the third day after Dominican, Friday's I drinks? Had sex with her, you bring her back to your house? Yeah, we, you know we went back in my room. We fucking fucked around and shit like something. Nothing to fucking put on this one. But yeah, how yeah, long we did you have her. sex with her for? Yeah, maybe thirty minutes. Look at me. Fella. And then what? Should she leave or did she stay? No, over? she stayed the night, man. You know, I in her box. She blew me. Fucking blah blah blah. She was shaved, clean, beautiful girl, five foot ten. You know, black what about hair. About in the morning. Nice. In the morning, anything? Yeah, morning. we went out for breakfast, and she went home, man. Boom, no, you didn't on. wake That's up with a, with a heart Have I talked to her since? No. Why not? Yeah. It wasn't that good. She's got a kid, man. She's got a six-year-old kid. So what does that mean? Yeah, fucking my kids are, my kids are 24, 25. I don't want to be fucking pinned down, man. Pinned down what? Just because you're not going to see her kid. Her kid's not coming yeah, to Fridays she, with yeah. you on a date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They want to go to fucking Disney World right for all that right no, now. So how come, how come you didn't have sex with her in the morning then? The next morning, you just took her to breakfast. Yeah, we didn't have sex in the morning, man. Um, we f- had sex that night, and I, I, I was out of bags, man. You and wore I, you wore a bag with her. No, but I told her I did, but I I told her I didn't have any left. She asked you to wear yep, a condom. She did. And what'd you say? I'm out of them. And what did I she can't, say? I can't fuck her. She said I can't. We can't have sex. But you, it's funny. They'll suck your cock without a bag, but they, you can't stick your fucking cock in a vagina. Or, but then, but you did, bag. though. At nighttime, I did. She thought I had a bag. But wait, 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 wait. No, I, I'm a, I was bagless, fella. She thought I had a bag. I no, but you bag. told her you didn't have any condoms. And she said, I can't have sex time, with you. She didn't ask me at night. In the, the morning time, she asked me if I had a fucking bag. Right. And, but you didn't have sex with her in the morning. I didn't. But you had sex with her the night before. I did. She didn't ask me if I fucking had a bag at nighttime. In the morning, she did. All right. All right. All right. Bitch. So you used to wear out. So, what, so you, you didn't even ask her, like. I just stuck that fucking thing. You didn't right. even ask Joe, her. Joe. I just slipped that thing in that Dominican fucking vagina. Or, uh, did I want her ass? I did. Could, no, she wouldn't let me. You didn't so. even ask her if she was on the pill or anything? I didn't ask her nothing. I didn't give a fuck. We were fucking, we were drinking. So what, just so, 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 yeah. I, I didn't, yeah. Oh, her face was great. 
You just yeah. do the prom promise and pull it out. Yeah, she had a round face, Dominican black hair, yeah. like maybe a little bit like you know her head was a little bit rounder than yours, and whoop, I shot it all over. It's great. See, I'm married and I got a vasectomy, so I just leave cum everywhere. I don't care. Oh, so you're out of your fucking mind. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> God bless you. But you didn't even ask him. Hey, are you on the pill before you put it in? I didn't. Why not? Well. Uh, let me see. A you Dominican know, girl's gonna we, get pregnant. We were fucking. Too. Number one, she's probably looking at me. You know what? If he comes inside me, I got more fucking food stamps. She's probably thinking, <laughs> <laughs> "What? Real? Right? Oh, hey, I have this kid. I get another five hundred a month in food stamps, that motherfucker. I'll get that son of a bitch." I didn't ask her. Who gave? Who gives a shit at that fucking? One o'clock in the morning. I want pussy. Let me stick my cock in. All right, so it's six of the sixteenth. It's going inside you deep. You get, get Joe. You hear this reasoning? It since yeah. it was one o'clock in the morning, they were drinking. It doesn't matter. Like I'm not going to ask at that hour. Yeah. If it was eleven or ten, then, then he would ask, and then he would be like, "No, I." Well, it's not. one in the afternoon. He's already vodka timing it up, and like it's got to be. Gary well, is, shut your fucking hole. What are you talking about, fella? <laughs> I had a beer with you. What are you talking about, motherfucker? Yeah, I tried to get him on the beer so he would relax with the vodka. It's it's insane. You ain't sleeping here tonight, fella. That's all. Nah, I don't want to. I all right, can't. so wait. Now, just get back to it for a second. Try not to joke about this. Why did you not Focus. give a return call after you had sex with him? Well, Jim, look at me, fella. Come on. How many fucking bro... I mean, I probably called back... Less than 50% because I'm an asshole. No, but why wouldn't you call her? But there's, Look less, at me! there's ones that you do call back and there's ones that you ones don't. Ones I really fucking like I call back. But you waited, th- like, it's just weird because you waited three dates. She, she probably fucking, her lip, she probably cleaned rooms in a fucking Hilton hotel or something. I have no clue, man. That's, that's, come on. No, but you waited three dates to get in their pants and you finally do and then you don't even call her again after well, that. Why? Well, it wasn't worth it, man. So it wasn't that good. I don't know. She was up. She was up, cat. Yeah, I'm gonna say. You know what? Did maybe, she? Maybe, maybe I sucked in bed. Did she ever call you? Or maybe I you? sucked in bed. Did she? She ever never call? called me, man. Maybe I sucked in. So bed. she never got in contact with you. Never, never got in contact. She had my her. phone number. She could have called me, Joe. Right? Yeah. Maybe I sucked. Maybe I was an asshole. Because I am, but you know. How old was she? I think she was four. I think she was forty four or forty two. She was. She's a beautiful. She was a beautiful girl, man. That's my favorite part of every Gary story. The chicks are always like, <laughs> "Yeah, but she was beautiful. She was 42, 44. 45. <laughs> she was cool. She obviously had. I'm some- not getting a fucking eighteen year old, Joe. <laughs> Look at me. I'm gonna be forty. I'm listen, at you. I know. listen. Get me a fucking twenty four year old, man. I'm all over that thing. They're gonna be with me. Yeah, for a night. <clears throat> but they'll yeah. steal all the money out of my wallet and go home. You know what the thing is? He's got you know he waits three dates for this girl, so she's obviously a little respectful. She was she's okay. Got some class. Yeah. She's forty two, forty three. It's not old. So sure. and then he waits three dates, and then he has sex, and then he never calls her again. Like the one that you have sex with the first night. You know who she it. looked like? She looked like Pam. Oh, that's uh, an ex, his <laughs> friend, uh, whatever. <laughs> that's who she looked ex. like. Well, keep the mic over here, John. Yeah, I didn't want to say I don't want to say nobody's name, but that's what she looked like. Slim, tall, black hair, fucking beautiful, man. You know, she looked but she wasn't from Greece. She was from the Dominican. You know who I'm talking about, fella. She's looking at me now. <laughs> he not fucking. Where's the cameras? Jesus Christ. So Gary comes to the comedy club last night. Yeah. Well, first we went to a concert. He was, he was completely uh, hammered. Well, first I talked to this comedy class. Uh, a local comic, Gary Menke, teaches a comedy class at the Improv. So I go and talk to these new guys, and he's heckling me. As the I'm entire time? Me? Yeah. I was? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, screaming out. Yeah, you took the one guy's suit, uh, briefcase at all his jokes, and you wouldn't give it back. Right. Home. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that guy was fantastic. That guy. So then we go to a concert, and he's bothering people there or whatever. And then he comes back, and he goes to sleep for like five hours because he's completely hammered. He shows up to the second show at like 10 o'clock. And he's sober because he slept for like five hours. Still in eat. We got him some food. He started drinking cocktails. But he ended a show. By the show ended at eleven thirty, he was gone. The last, time we, the last time we spotted Gary was eleven fifteen, like fifteen minutes before I got off stage. Gary Menke, the MC, said, "Last time I saw your friend Gary, he was in the green room by himself, talking to himself." Do you talk to yourself? Gary? I, I did. Yeah, yeah. Hammered, yeah, I was fucking writing on a piece of paper, going, "What's my next fucking venture I'm going to do in life, man?" That's what you were doing? Yeah. No, well, no, I figured, I don't know, I have no clue what the and, fuck. But he doesn't remember how he got home. 
He you have no, no clue, clue how you I have got no here. clue how I got back here. You got at the hotel? I did, yeah. I don't, maybe a, I don't know, maybe some <laughs> fucking broad or a guy or a guy. I doubt it. <laughs> really? Holy yeah. shit. But Look so, at me, man. So, so you have no idea how you got back to the hotel? No, I, I would say probably. I uh, Probably a cab? I would say a cab took me back here. But I went outside looking for you guys. I didn't see you guys, man. So I fucking, you know, whatever. You know, I'm not yeah. mad at Gary because he saw me in the green room and he was like, I watched your set and you were hilarious. And I was like, you were fucking Thank funny you. as a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> you were. I see, yeah. Gary said he was looking for me. I was on stage. I, that's, yeah. that's where I was. <laughs> He was in front of 300 people. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. Well, hey. If you saw me, I was selling merch. Like, I was right in the- Actually, I was sitting out there watching Jim and laughing my ass. I had to go in the back room because I was- Gary, it was so easy to find me and Jim where the guys that are on the show. And? And? I'm just saying. Say what? I don't want to tell you. It you wouldn't know. have been hard to Listen, find us. I went outside. Maybe I had another cocktail somewhere with somebody. I don't and know then what you happened. jumped in a cab. Who cares? So you don't even know. It's a difference. Were, you don't even know. I'm 49 fucking years old. I don't. What are you? My fuck. Uh, were you worried? No, I'm about? not. No. Were no, you guys no. worried about me? You knew I was back safe, right? I wasn't dead. But, Actually, you, but you don't even know if you went to another bar in a complex by the end. No, no I, I did not go to another bar. But you don't know how you got home. You don't know if you maybe. walked, so a stranger gave you a ride, or maybe. a taxi. Maybe, maybe. Me and Jim maybe. were not concerned because we know you're a 49-year-old man and you're a professional. We figured look, you would handle and, it. And look at me. I'm and, like, and we on. were right. And we were look right. I mean, we were I'm, right. Walk, I'm walking around. Who the fuck's going to pick me up, man? Jesus Christ. No, you made it. You were fine. I woke up in the morning, man. I was good. Fucking. But the, but the whole thing, I couldn't find you guys? That's ridiculous. We're on the show. I couldn't find you guys. You were fucking. You guys disappeared. You fucking left me flying. We were Constantly. in the comedy club. Uh, Son the whole of a time. bitches. Were you, the comedians at a comedy show? I know. Show. You, guys, you were probably with these broads and stuff. No, you we know? weren't. You were on the side in the back room with the girls. You know, no. in the green room, probably fucking three, four broads with you. You don't want me there, so I fucking left. That's all. Come on. No, we saw yeah, the no, It's okay. It's, I'm not worried about it. But listen to this reasoning. I was still on stage by the time Gary left the club. Yeah, you were looking definitely for on stage. Me, looking for me, and I was on that stage with spotlights on me. <laughs> and he's and you were in the bar where he had to walk through setting up the merchandise. To leave. Says, yeah, uh, we don't know where you were. I don't know where you guys he were. He didn't know where we were. Yeah. You were on stage, and yeah, I was at the maybe. bar selling yeah. exactly. CDs. And he has to, you had to walk, walk right by past me. you, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I, I went out the back door or something. I have no, you know, it's... What's the difference? Who gives a shit? I don't think you were on stage anyway. You what were do, you think, yes, he was. do you think a 48-year-old man... Four, I'll be 49, fella. Thank right. you. Happy birthday, GJ. Do you think a 49-year-old man's got some kind of Who issues? Cares? He doesn't remember how he got home and he couldn't well, find his friend. A fucking multi-millionaire, any fucking way. I don't give a shit. But seriously, does Who cares it, don't you about, think this... Listen, I, I don't have to work another fucking day. Look, look at me! But don't you think there's some kind of problem there? Oh, I got problems, fella. Vagina issues I got. Let's get back to fucking anal sex. <laughs> Enough with this bullshit. He doesn't like that intervention. Yeah. He needs to go back. I want like... fucking girls in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get back to where I hey where I fit in. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You guys are fuck. Well, whatever. He's one of the all-time greatest pieces of the shit ever. <laughs> I'm, a fu- I'm, I'm a classic it's fucking It's unbelievable. Bot. That's all. It's all right. unbelievable. So How can I be friends with a guy like this for fucking 38? I don't know. Since we're 19, we're fucking 30 years. He, still, right. lo- he still loves me. It's what, what's the next um, venture? The next what's the next venture girl you got lined up? You got, besides the 59-year-old. You, you got know some, what? Oh, you, gonna, got a, you told me about a 30-year-old that like. Oh, my God. So t- t- yeah, us. man. I don't want to say too much about that. No names or nothing. No names. She's just... 30 years old. She digs me. Now, where did you meet her? I met her at a grocery store. Another grocery store. Is this yeah. a Winn-Dixie's or is it a Publix? It's a Publix. Wow. Actually, Whole Foods I met her. Yeah. He's unbelievable at the grocery store. It's He's fucking really ridiculous. I mean, look at me. I'm eating wheat, carrot, and fucking kale. Oh, we, come on. Look we, at me. We just were in Whole Foods. He was following a bunch around. Oh, yeah. They, totally they, they, on chicks the whole time. They're just checking me out, Joe, right? Look at them. No, they okay. weren't at all. You were bothering them. Yeah. <laughs> you're, wearing, you're wearing a Mets jersey with the number 69 oh, on it. 60. Is that great? No, it's horrendous. <laughs> it's oh, very The last time Cleveland <laughs> fucking won, fella. Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. So yeah. You, hey. So you meet her in public, she's, a 30 year old. Actually, you know what? She's got a gr- She's about five foot two. She's beautiful, great heavers, and that's tits. Yeah, man. I, I, you know, I, terms. you know, I, I'm gonna be right. cool. I'm gonna be cool with her. Now. All I'm right, be, so I'm gonna be a little bit slow with her because, hey, 
I'm yeah. fucking gonna be 49, man. I'm, I'm 19 years older than her, and I want to just you know be cool with her. That's all. Well, you were, you but the Dominican you were slow with too, yeah, and then you, you know, never called but, her again. Well, you know, once I get a couple of cocktails in her, man, you know what I'm doing, fella. You know? All right. So what happens in the public when you see her? How did you how did you approach Whole Foods. her? Whole Foods. What'd you say to her? Don't go with the cucumber thing. You remember what you said. <laughs> right? no, you, actually, you I've seen her like five or six times. So we ran into each other in the parking lot. This and that. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. The whole bullshit thing. You know, the whole story. How you doing? I asked her, you know, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And she cleans houses for a living. So right. I mean, so did you get her number? She gave me her phone number. Hey, I love to clean your house. Blah, blah, blah. And I, you know, I got 12-foot ceilings, man. And... You know, she goes, I'll get up on the thing blah, 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 and see her little ass up there 12 foot high that fucking fan spinning around. It's beautiful. But um, we haven't got on it yet. So we'll so see. So she clean your house? She, I haven't had her clean my house yet. So, so, But is it more of a business thing or she's interested in you going on a date? Yeah, I think we're going to go out, man. I think we are. You know, I, I've talked to her a couple more times since then, but not on the phone. And we'll see what happens. I'll leave it at that. Maybe we'll do another fucking iPod. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, she's 30 I'm 49 fella no maybe not if you, if you guys listen and he calls a podcast an iPod so oh, whatever says it. iPod whatever the fuck well listen maybe maybe or maybe who the fuck so, so you have so what's the next move with the 30 year old are you gonna tell her, let's go out for dinner yeah I'll take it to fucking 7-Eleven what are you fucking kidding oh well, maybe we'll see what happens I don't know man. we'll see we'll see I like her. She's cute, man. She's 30 years old. I'm 49. I mean, what the fuck? Maybe she might be my fucking new girl. I don't know. Are you going to settle down? No. Never? Will you ever get married again? And what? Lose what I got? How can I fucking come to Cleveland and hang out with you if I'm married, fella? Easy. No. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What? People, what? people what? travel that are married. Yeah. They're okay. allowed to. Not not fourteen times a year like I do. Fella. Listen, Gary. I'm in Orlando right now. I'm married. What's? Yeah. It doesn't what's make a difference. You're a fucking comedian, fella. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so people travel. Listen. No one's allowed to travel. I can there. say, hey, you know what? I jump on a plane. Boom. I'm in fucking Fort Myers, Atlanta, New Jersey, fucking Orlando. Yeah, Cleveland. dummy. I can do that too. I, I do it. Dummy. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I've been to Prague. I've been everywhere. Don't. Stop, oh, stop it. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so you're saying that you won't you're get married. You're a comedian, ma- fellow. I'm so not. You're, so you're saying you won't get married just because you won't be able to travel. I'm not getting anymore. married ever again, period. How do you know? Because I know. I haven't been married in 17 fucking years, dude. I'm not getting married again. It didn't end good Please. with your first wife? No. Did she get your money? I had no money back then. <laughs> She wouldn't let me bang her for the last year. I was sniffing her. Yeah, so wait, so so in the bed, yeah, she was, uh, they were basically living together. He was ready to move out. Trying to get laid. So she her. wouldn't get many, and she was just totally disgusted by him. And when she was sleeping, what would you do? Nobody could see what you're doing, Gary. Stop it, Gary. Nobody could see what you're doing. So what would you do, oh, Gary? So she's sleeping. She wants nothing to do with you, I right? Was fucking, I would. What would you do? I was horny, dude. I, I would go down and sick my fucking nose. Right between her vagina and sniff. Just sniff it? Wait, would you eat it? Now, would you, would no, she, well, you know, asleep? she would slap me away and wake up in the morning and go, What were you doing? What were you doing? And what'd what you say? You? I was sleeping. <laughs> Just, <laughs> wait, my so, fucking cock. I was eating an eighth end, fella. <laughs> so, wait, so you would sniff it and then would she wake up in the middle of the night? And she push would you wake away? up and push me away and go, What were you doing? And I'd be like, Oh, man, I'm sleeping. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get some vagina or man. Vagina rur. I was trying to get. You said you said. But she yes, wanted nothing to do with you. Didn't you realize that she was mad at you? Listen, the last fucking year, my, I was uh, fucking getting some pussy on the side, man. But that, whatever. Yeah, but well, don't. You, didn't you realize that she was mad at you? She didn't want to. She have was sex pissed. With you? She was fucking somebody else anyway. Right, but why would you think that she would let you do that? Yeah, she wouldn't let me do that. This is a problem. You so know? why would you do it when she was sleeping? Well, dude, when you, hey, listen. When you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you got fucking eight and eight barreling in your chin. Yeah. What are you going to do, fella? You want to sniff some vagina on. You do. He told me yesterday, yeah. she said, she said, I don't want you touching me. I don't want you touching me, the fuck. That's what she said. Hey, you know what? She's going to be 50 years old next month, and I'm going to call her up and wish her a happy birthday, man. It's my kid's mother's. So I don't know. 
Are you going to say, wanna, can I touch her? I don't want to say nothing about her, man. She no, no, absolutely. No, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, it's all on you. It's no, on no, it's about yeah. you being a piece of garbage. Yeah. Right? Look at both. Yeah, let my two kids hear this. Fuck it. <laughs> well, what, what, what would your kids care that you tried to smell their mom's vagina? Whatever. Yeah, what you wanted nothing to Jesus do when you wanted to do There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. You're right. There isn't. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Because, hey, it's, it's a part of life. I wanted to sniff. Her fucking vagina. Her. Right. So vagina. you know, and he could sit down with his kids and have coffee. And go look. You don't understand. I, I wanted up, to. I woke your up with vagina. Her. I woke up with eight and an eighth, and and at two in the morning. What was they supposed to do? I was trying to I'm get sure they'll understand. With your wife, of course. And they'll listen, understand. I got two daughters. If I had two sons, they'd be giving me fucking high fives. And shit, man. Exactly. He's right. No. So the, I'm the sure daughters they would understand. The daughters would be like a little bit, you know, whatever. Hey, listen, whatever. Don't you think they would? They, your daughters would understand if you told them. Like I woke up with eight and an eighth. Yeah, I'm talk, talking to my kids about fucking sex. Who are banging these chicks in the ass and shit? My my two daughters are gonna be like, yeah, fuck you, dad. Hey, you got a fifty? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. That's a great story. Let me go see my boy, my boyfriend Robert, right now. <laughs> hey, Robert, boyfriends. how come you don't fuck me in the ass? Dad fucks everybody else in the ass. <laughs> what air boyfriends? <laughs> they have boyfriends. <laughs> Does your daughter have, they have a boyfriend? Um, actually, yes and no. Okay, one so, does, one doesn't. One so, really so the one, do you think that's going on in the relationship? No, I don't think she's she, actually. She's like me. She's a. All right. Don't say nothing, man. Yeah. <laughs> We got Gary quiet. Like, yeah, God. It, it took him a little, took a Hey, listen. Time. It took forty-five. You cocksuckers out there don't fuck with my kids, man. <laughs> Big problems we'll have. He, like, showed, he showed me a picture of his daughter, and I was kind of like, "Whoa!" Because like was twenty-four, and, and then he was Joe's like, curling right. his fucking hair right now. <laughs> going, holy shit! She's twenty-five. The one I said the other one's twenty-four, and he, he, like, he turned the phone off. He stopped showing me pictures because yeah, I was like, "Whoa!" His, his kids were good looking. Well, look yeah. at me, Joe. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're super handsome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going to go down tonight? Let's map out the night of what's going to go down. Um, I'm probably going to pull a deuce here in about 20 minutes. But okay. And then after that. Maybe yeah, but you don't, you don't have the bidet here, so what? what that I sucks. Think? i got to jump in the shower and let it clean me off. Like I did this morning. Oh wait, wait! Well, like, uh, Gary no, was really? telling me a story before. He had yeah. an incident a few years ago where he, uh, it was an alleged whatever. It does. He he had to go to jail for a couple of days. It wasn't his fault. It was all made up. But he didn't want to shit in the jail, in the in the regular toilet for some reason. Six days I was in fucking prison. So he shit in the in the shower and let it go down the drain and just at like it two down in the, the morning. Drain? Yeah, man. What the fuck? I was. Hey, I wasn't shitting in the fuck. Yeah, it was six days I was there for. But it. you, but you, you held it in for like four days. I held it in for the first. The boys said, "Hey, man, you got to clean that room." And I say, hey, "I ain't fucking. I didn't say nothing." So they said, "I ain't cleaning well, well, fucking nothing." Well, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me nothing. let me preface this. They, they, it was it was ninety eight percent like black and Hispanic. So it was like three or four white guys in the jail. Yeah, ex- and, and out of like fifty people, it was like three white guys. Yeah. You're so right. they were telling Gary, they so he was a new guy. Hey, if you're gonna go shit in there, you gotta. You got to clean that. See what I'm saying? So you didn't even clean it. So you wouldn't even go in there. I didn't fucking shit, dude. I said, "Fuck, I ain't doing nothing, man." I held it in, man. So at two in the morning, you were allowed to get out of your cell because it was a little late. It was area. like two story. Um, you know, two store, ten, ten rooms on each side, on each first, second floor, and yeah, man, I got out two o'clock in the fucking morning. I went in the shower, and shit in the shower, and stomped it down the drain. Wasn't a big turd stuff. No, nah, just the drain. no, nah, just ran down the drain because they give you fucking beans, they give you shit to and eat, and like man. bologna and stuff. Yeah, bologna sandwiches and fucking <laughs> beans, and they give you shit to eat. For fucking, I was. I think it was six or seven days I was there for. I was scared, fuck, man. <laughs> Beautiful. But so, but and then you just did it right down the drain. Was anybody else in the shower when you shit? No, nah, it was a single shower, man. Door, you know, it was a door. It shut and every fucking thing. It was nobody else could go. Then I went back to my room. I got on my metal bunk with my three foot by four foot blanket. It was freezing in there. Guy sleeping on the floor. One guy in the fucking bottom bunk. I jumped on the top. Were you afraid you might get raped when you were in jail? Yeah, the fucking, uh, there would have been some problems. I what guess. would have happened if they tried? I, you know what? All the black guys in there, they were all friends. Man. They're all from the same neighborhood, man. They're all talking their fucking dope shit. So 
I played chess with some Spanish guy, you know, for an hour. <laughs> Gary's hemorrhoids, there's no way he would have Yeah, they probably wouldn't have got past it. No. Yeah, not at all. Are you kidding me? I would have looked down my fucking ass and seen that. and went, holy shit, let's, the pick, let's pick them apples. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jim, not shocked Gary's been to prison. <laughs> well, it, was, it, was, it no. wasn't his fault at all. We'll leave it at that. It was <laughs> very, Bingo. very, Listen, very false. When you charges. stick a fucking gun in somebody's mouth and you get off, you're doing all right, fella. All right, uh, whatever that means. I don't I, even know what that no. means. But so, but, <laughs> so, but it wasn't so, my fault. When I, it's all the charges. Let's just say six guys are holding you down and we're going to rape you in the ass. Would you tell them to do it slow? How? Because you're you're the ass man. You know how to do that. Would Would you give them pointers when you had no shot? Oh, what please. would you tell them? <laughs> you don't want to go there. No, I do. What do you mean, no? no, no that's, no, what, that's what I would have told the black guys. You don't oh, want to go there. Oh. <laughs> ah, damn. You pull it out, you're going to get some dirty, you're gonna get some dirty stink on that motherfucking thing. Look at me. Look at me. I ate Italian food last night, and I just got in. Holy shit. Eggplant Parmesan. You want to go in there? I just came in last night. Get the fuck away from me. Oh. I'm plus you didn't shit for like four days. Right. So it was, it was, Man, you pull, you're pulling that out, and Bubble going to suck it when you're done? Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh my god! Jerry was running from soul poles. <laughs> running like a motherfucker. Like the Shawshank Redemption. Holy shit. You think that would have stopped him if he told him I ate Italian food? Oh uh, my god! Yeah. I ate eggplant parmesan, a double fucking whammy, huh, a cannoli? Come on, fella. <laughs> they would have been like, holy shit. This motherfucker ain't lying right here. Shit. Hey, Bubba, come here. Bend over. I'm going to fuck you in the ass. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking Now we're cooking with peanut oil. The motherfucker. I believe that. I can't. I can't. Fucking Gary is garbage. <laughs> hey. What the fuck? Oh, Florida. All right, oh, man. God. I think we're good, man. I think we ended up good. Do you think it's okay? Note. Yeah, we ended well, up you know, note. listen. Cut three quarters of it out and whatever, you know. We're not you get me on. Next time, we, nothing, next time we get on it, maybe we'll be in fucking Vegas or something. Who the fuck knows? How <laughs> I have another story. Who knows? Listen, in two months, who knows who they're going to fucking bang? Yeah, get some stories in here so we can... Yeah, I'm trying to sell my store to fucking... You know, I want these Indians to come in. I like to bang one of them fuckers, man, with those little fucking... Those, what are they, know, those Gary's trying to sell his liquor store. Ah, 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 ah. To the Indians you're trying to sell? They got money, man, them motherfuckers. Yeah, why not? You know, they're, they're pussies. <laughs> stink now. <laughs> How do you Get. know? Oh, they, they cook with curry. They got to rub that vagina with some curry juice. <laughs> curry oil. You smell that thing. God damn. Vida, come here. <laughs> but curry, curry oil. Vida. Right. It smells all right. Curry. Oh. It smells like fucking, it's worse than ass juice, dude. Like, what's that? It's worse than ass juice. It's worse than ass juice, curry, man. Vida. Come here. So you're saying if you met an Indian girl in the supermarket, like you've been, I you would wouldn't, you wouldn't ask her out? I, I would, man, absolutely. But you just said it tastes you like imagine, curry. It smells can like you curry. you imagine what her fucking vagina or smells like? So I why, mean, why would you want to try She's got that? more hair on her fucking vagina than fucking in my fucking toenail juice. Ugh. In your toenail juice? Yeah. <laughs> So he, it was almost like he, he ended on a good note as a comic. He had, I ruined and then, it. And then he wanted yeah. to do a couple more and minutes. And then he blew it. He, he got yeah. greedy. He got greedy. He, he got reached. Gary Greedy. He That's reached. we call him, Gary yeah. Greedy. They, they used to call me Gary Gallon, but now for fucking Gary and a, Gary, you wish you were a gallon. But, all right, listen. All right, Gary from we're Florida. Back. Gary Joe, from fuck off, bitches. <laughs> Joe, you got a website. Yeah, on my website. Twitter, you can get me at uh, Ghetto Joe Howard uh, on the Twitter there and Instagram and... Uh, yeah. And you do a podcast with Chad Zumach now, too? Sometimes I'm a guest. Uh, the Sit Down Zumach podcast. Chad is uh, another friend of mine, much like Gary. Yeah, he's yeah, a good dude. It's a funny podcast. <laughs> what are you, what are you saying, fella? I'm saying he got a DUI and I'm got good. fired, so now he has a podcast instead of being on the radio. So check him out. Sit Down Zumach podcast on iTunes. Check it out, all right, guys? Thanks. All right. And and thanks, Jim. Gary, any last words? Any last words? Gary? Um, you know what? I had a good time, man. That's all. It's all that matters, man. I'm hanging out with friends. What's your, uh, you know, Gary? What, what, what's your philosophy in life? Like, forget the sex stuff. Like, I want to fucking blow a load on a girl. <laughs> Seriously, like, what, what? Like, if you what? had to give some advice, if you had to go talk to like high school kids, what would be your advice? Don't be like me. I would say you listen. Stay in school and don't be like me. Because I mean, you know, listen. Anyway. 
What, you're successful? Well, you I, I am. Money, Listen, you're a business. actually, you know what? Hey, if you want to be like me, it's great to be like me because I am fucking successful, man. You know, I, I own a great business. I own houses. I own property. I own this and that and whatever, but... Yeah. But what's your overall philosophy yeah, in life? Yeah, fuck it. To live, to live good and die free, man. Fuck it. Korea, go fuck yourself. That's what I'm talking about. Colonel GJJ. <laughs> what's wrong with Korea? Yeah, yeah. yeah, fuck North Korea, man. Listen, don't let me send my boys in that fucking place. Right? Why? What's going to happen? Oh, well, I'm going to slaughter them fuckers. Anyway, that's... Anyway. Well, you're pro-war? I'm for, like, let's kick, don't fuck with my country, man. We'll fucking kick your ass. Colonel, what are they going to do to us? What are they going to do to us? Nothing. <laughs> Their fucking missiles will go 60 fucking yards out in the ocean. They'll be like a dead fucking mule. Come on. Man, please. So then why are you worried about them? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not worried about them at all. I think, you know, our, our government and fucking president and everybody should suck, take a stand, man. What the fuck? I think it's a good point. Gary saying North Korea is nothing to worry about. What about, what about guns? I wouldn't worry about them mother... You know what? Here's the thing. They depend on us for food, man. You know, and, and all kinds of other stuff. What? Please. Oh, they don't have their own food there? No, they don't. We've had sanctions against them for years. Yeah, we got sanctions now that it's going to happen forever. They we get more they get more shit from us than you can imagine in China and fucking Japan and all that other shit. Yeah, but we're okay with them. I don't want to talk politics, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> what about guns? You have pro guns. You got like seventeen guns. What do you think about the gun control? Do you think people should be all registered? Should it be? No, I think we checks? should ban that shit, dude. Yeah. What about I mean, assault rifles? Absolutely. Should they be banned? Ban them. You go hunting. Should it be banned? Do you need one? I don't ban one. I don't fucking go hunting with an assault rifle. I got a shotgun, man. Right, so do you need an assault rifle to go hunting? No, To protect your house? Do you need an assault rifle? I got a couple of pistols from my store, you know, and that's it, man. Hey, listen, my grandmother got killed from a fucking gun, man, back in 1966, dude. So when I got my first gun, my father and his uncle and his brothers, they didn't talk to me for years. Because you got a gun? Because I... Try to protect myself from my fucking business, man. So, oh, they were that, mad that you got a gun. Yeah, because you know my grandmother was shot with a fucking gun in New York, man. But but murdered, murdered. Yep. Well, was it a robbery or something? Nope, murdered, man. I don't even want to go there, dude. Oh, all right. I don't want to go there, but yeah. And then you know I got a business, so you got to have a gun. Yeah, but you had a guns before you had the business. I did. I had a, I had a rifle to go hunting with and shit. That's a different story, man. You go hunting, you know. They still don't like it, but whatever. What about the guns, man? No, I don't want to talk about that, dude. Please. My grandmother was fucking killed with a gun. No, I hear it. I'm just asking what you thought of it, like, what's going on, because I know you yeah, own We're guns. interviewing you. Yeah. I know, but I don't want to fucking talk about okay. that. You cut all that shit out, man. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem with coming on the girl's face and <laughs> no. the hairy ass and <laughs> she's the, the, you know, that great hey. cubic hair. Yeah. And, hey. yeah. Listen, That's I'm okay. loading my 9 millimeter up, and I'll drop a deuce on you, you <laughs> fucking... The black, you know. the black Bubba accent in jail. No, hey, yeah, you know what? Next year, that. that's hey, fine, but I don't want to talk about Here's the thing, guns. too. Next May 24th, bagged a 48-year-old fucking black chick in my room, standing up. From fucking... <laughs> you I'm, standing on my up. birthday. You bang her standing up. I wanted to come in her mouth. She goes, I'm old time. And I fucking hit. I was hitting her from my... Yeah, man, we were standing up. That fucking thing. Shaved like a fucking beaver. Like a brown beaver, that thing looked like. What 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 what, is, what does she mean by old time? What does that mean? I'm old time. I will not swallow that stuff from you, man. No way. I was just ripping it from behind. And standing? I was standing up right next to my bed, just hitting it, man. Yeah. Dr- dropped my white, juicy load all over her ass. I'm going to lie. That was it. Haven't seen her since. Don't even know her fucking it. Marlena, I think was her name. <laughs> That's the name. That, it just popped into me. Is that great or what? You have to end on that. God damn. Did you wear Jason, a- you might know that one, motherfucker. Did you wear a condom? No. Why not? Look at me. <laughs> she might have fucking introduced Blister Bowl War then. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good birthday. It was a great, last year was a great birthday, man. Yeah. Great at round. Yeah. 
Oh, she was like 48 years old. Just, just, I, I was Did you go down on her? No. Did you meet her in a supermarket or in a store? Came to my store. You started rapping with her? I don't even fucking know how it happened. You know what? It's my birthday. You want to go out, baby? Bubba, she said yes, and I hit it. We, we fucking had a couple of cocktails, and I hit it. That's all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my third blackie. Third blackie? Yeah. Did you say blackie? That's a, yeah. My third. She was the worst blackie, but... Why Some blackies. Are, well, you blackies are hot. I mean, I like a fucking bl- nice black chick. Bro. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean... What? Well, fucking black chicks are fucking beautiful, man. They're great. Interracial. Whatever you guys call it out there. <laughs> we get back into it. Like this. Hey, you want round two or what, fella? Because here I go. <laughs> no, I never. I've never done that. Never hit a blackie? No, never. Why not? I don't know. It just never happened. I married my high school sweetheart. Look at you. Him. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes. Oh, you, mar- you, you did? You married your high school sweetheart? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've only had sex with one woman. It's my wife. In your life? I swear. Yeah. Yeah. God, you don't know you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of vaginas out there. There's different shapes. Some are like, like a triangle. Right. Some are square. Some are rectangular. Some got a flap on it and some don't. Oh. Some are tucked in, and some, they look like your bed sheets when you like some go to the Some of them squirt? Time. Like, I, yeah, I have no oh. idea about that. <laughs> like that. So there's a lot of them, then. Dude, oh. Like a, like a fucking, like a mule. They're all different kinds of shades, fella. Me? I... Mine's cut, fella. I'm yeah, Italian. So's mine. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> some guys don't have them cut, you know what I mean? Wait, right. this is going down a weird road. Yeah. So <laughs> you're saying he's missing out because there's a lot of different sizes and shapes. One, wor- and one woman. One. Well, whatever. My listen, whole life. If that's how you... Listen, how is that? It's good? Oh, you haven't tasted nothing else, right? No. Yeah, but some, some taste like bean? No. Bean. no. Some taste like an onion? Yeah. No, like some onion. taste like shit? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. That's some, some of you are like, ah! Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? No. That tastes like shit. I got it. I got it. No, it's right. fine. No, it's fine. That's it. All right. That's right. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. But for real, if you shut that fucking thing off, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> are you, are, are you a, do you admire that he's only been with one girl? I do, man. Do you God bless wrong? you, man. I, you're my friend. I love you, dude. God what do bless you think her. he's missing out? You know what? You love her? Absolutely. She yeah. loves you. I met yeah. her. Yeah. I met you guys. Yeah. You know what? Don't ever fuck around. No, we're in, a, we're in a good spot. No, you know what? I was saying that because uh, Gary said, maybe I'll come to Cleveland and hang with you guys. I go, I go Joe, I go... If you go out to the store to go try to get a newspaper, Gary's going to try to fuck your wife. <laughs> he will. He will. I he know will. He will. Without a doubt. It would not end well. I know it would be Tammy bad. Tammy will go, hey, I'm going to go get you, I'll get you a cup of coffee. Let me go get a mug. And she'll be reaching up and he'll go right behind her and start rubbing why, the fuel I did that with your wife? No. But, you were gonna, no okay. but so why would you say that, dude? You don't think but, that. Why would he say that? <laughs> I thought the guy 30 fucking, I mean, why would I, why would he say that? I would. I would never do that. I love you, but I wouldn't let you alone in the house with my old lady. There's no way. She got blonde hair? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, There's no way. Don't leave. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we're done, man. Gary from Florida returns to the podcast. (laughs) Joe Howard, and we'll see you next week. This is Hit Right. We are... G.J. They tell you what to eat. Get it? What the fuck is a pimento? Pimento, anyway. I don't even know what the hell it is. The terminology is so fucking dumb. It was a do- it was a dog leg left, so I hit a draw with my fade, but I left the blade open so I could lay up. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. And the players' names? They are so entitled and douchey. If not for the masters, I'd have had no idea parents named their chick their children names like like this, I dare you to read a listing of the top 100 players' names and find the normal one. Most have fucked up first and last names. All have either a fucked up first or last name, or their second or third. How fucking pompous. I'll name my son after me, and he'll name his son after me, and him and me. I just can't stand the quaint touches that you hear about year after year after year. Ooh, I wonder what Rory, whoever fucking won, is going to serve for dinner. He won last year, so he gets to pick the championship dinner menu. Holy fuck. There should be an entire podcast to how fucking 
much of a dick Jim Nance is. Ooh, let's go to Jim Nance in Butler Cabin. Nothing screams douche like Jim Nance sitting by a roaring fire in Butler Cabin. He's like the poster boy for rich, entitled white men. Every year, he gets to ruin both the Final Four and the Masters. Hello, friends. Holy fuck, I hate him so much. For the Masters next year, they should douse him with gasoline and set him on fire. Now that I would pay to watch. I would love to watch that green jacket ceremony year after year. Sorry, dude. I, I know you only wanted ideas, but please get these rich country club motherfuckers. P.S. Love the podcast. Rock of Ages will always be epic, but you've been on a roll lately. And two. Uh, pretty soon. But a guy named Sean Lowney sent me an email. You can send me emails. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I guess the email address is out there. But Jim Florentine, the number 13 at gmail.com. If you got uh, some ideas or want to comment on the podcast or whatever, you can also send them there or do it through Butterfly. Um. He sent me an email about a podcast, an idea, but he basically just wrote out a fucking tirade of a podcast in the email. It's about golf and the Masters that's going on right now. Now, I'm not a big golf fan. See, I would never do a podcast, and it's only because I don't follow golf. I don't give a shit. I never watch one second of it. I've played it maybe twice in my life. I was a lefty. I'm a lefty, so they never had. No one ever had lefty clubs. And then even at the even at you know to try to rent them, they only had one set and they were already out, or they did have a set and then I'd have to rent clubs. I couldn't borrow my friends' clubs, so I was just like, "Fuck it, it's just stupid." Just chasing a ball around all day. You know, I guess if you know you want to get some sun and get out of the house, that's all right. That's the only reason I would do it. But it's fucking stupid. It's mostly for guys that just don't, don't want to be around their wives, which you know I understand if you're in a bad relationship. You want to get the fuck out of the house, but it's just dumb to me. Dumb outfits. They wear stupid things. They dress goofy. They fucking spend eight hours out there, you know, just fucking hitting the ball and getting on a cart. And they take it too serious. There's no joking around or any of that shit. I don't know. It's not my fucking thing at all. Plus, com- a lot of comics play golf. My buddy Rich Voss plays golf, and I guess he's really good at it. And it's, you know, it's his hobby. He's, he's been sober for like 28 years, so he needs to... Keep something, you know, he needs to get another fucking habit. Another thing he's addicted to to keep him sober. So, you know, I got no problem with You the man, tiger. Somebody yelled out Baba Booey on Thursday. That's fucking, that's, that's fine. Take that. Then he's like, the chummy broadcast with either gay in jokes and way too self-serious tone commenting as if this is life or death. The fucking whispering. You'd swear they were covering D-Day. Jim, we received word Saturday. Tiger was summoned to Butler Cabin to discuss Rule 301.3. Holy fuck. A fan narked on him. That's right. Seriously, think of how gay a sport is that one of their fans actually calls in to fucking nark on their superstar. Imagine trying to call the NFL during halftime of a Jet-Dolphin game to report on a rules infraction. How about the gallery? The patrons for one week in a year, you get you get to actually see what it's like to be a con- be a country club member. It's almost like this is their version of Vegas. Like instead of getting drunk and going to strip clubs, they go to watch other guys golf with their wives and dress like their favorite golfer, and even wear fucking golf shoes. This is the golf equivalent of a forty year old guy who brings his glove to baseball games. And what's with the fucking white belts and green or pink shirts and tight white pants? Girls don't even dress like that. Yet these are adult men hoping to be seen wearing these outfits. I hate hearing how it's so fucking amazing there. Gay bird chirping noises, pine needles. Who gives two fucks? The sandwiches. Holy shit, they are fucking great and cheap too. Meanwhile, every attendee is like a fucking CEO of a company of their gay son-in-laws or underlings who flew on a private jet that has to groan on, groan on and on about how cheap the delicious food is. And it's so great you can only get one type of sandwich. Welcome to the Jim Florentine Comedy Metal Midgets Podcast. I'm Riotcast.com. This week I'm going to do something a little different. 
I usually ask for suggestions for um, podcasts. You guys have been great on the Butterfly Radio uh, dot com app that I always talk about. You guys always leave me messages, and it's really cool. You can if you have an iPhone. We've gone through it before, but if you do have an iPhone, go to ButterflyRadio.com. It's a free app. It's like a radio station. You can leave me messages. And a lot of you guys have been leaving me good ideas for podcasts. Um, a couple of them that were left in the last week or so that I will definitely get to is the good friend, the friend zone, about being a good friend to chicks. I have a whole thing on that. I'm going to fucking go off on that. I have a lot of experience and a lot of... Yeah, a lot of experience of being the good friend and getting tortured for years. So that will be upcoming, definitely. I, I forgot who suggested that, but I'll give you a plug when I find out when I do it. But I know that came off of Blood of Five Radio. And then also um, someone else recommended about all TV shows, like sitcoms and TV commercials, how the guy is always dumb and the women's always smart. And I've been raving, raging and raving about that for years. How, you know, they always make the guy look dumb and he's the idiot because that's the safe way because nobody's going to complain because if you, you know, you make the woman look dumb, then there's a problem. You're sexist. So that's another podcast that will definitely be coming in a few weeks too. So thank you for the great ideas. Sometimes they just, you know, they slip my mind. The so man caves. Uh, one, you know, you guys left me one and I was like fucking perfect. So there was another one you guys, one, one uh, mentioned about doing a thing about stupid bu- bumper stickers on cars. Uh, I'm going to try. I don't know if there's enough material there because you don't see too many, but I know they got the honor roll kid. So I might be able to come up with something. So that's an idea I wrote down. So that might become him playing. But as a comic that, you know, a lot of comics play and they're on the road, but you have to get up at like seven in the morning to get on a course to go play i'm like there's i'm not getting up at seven in the morning now i got a kid i have to but before there's no way i'm like fuck you kidding me i'm sleeping in man i'm going to sleep at two and i'm getting up at 10 why would i want to get up to play golf there's no chicks around there's nothing there's nothing fun about it so i've never never got into it not getting up early if it started at like noon i got maybe i'll give it a shot but i don't want to play 18 holes i don't want to waste the whole day then you're exhausted by the end of the day, we got to do shows at night. Fuck that. Never watch it on TV. It's fucking... Yeah, people say baseball's boring to watch. Golf is way worse to watch on TV. I, everybody, everywhere I walk today, the Masters on, everyone's walking around. Oh, what's Tiger doing? Who gives a shit? Not my thing at all. So I don't really know too much about it to even do a full podcast on it, the Masters and all that shit. So Because I never watch it. I'm not, you know... But Sean sent me a great email about golf and the Masters. And I'm basically going to, what I'm going to do before we start, Gary from Florida, it will be on the this week's podcast. But I'm going to do Sean's rant that he sent me an email about golf and the Masters. I think it's really good. And it's definitely something I would say if I knew more about it. So this is the fucking goofy golf and the stupid Masters by Sean Lowney. I hate watching it every year, and I hate everything about it. Jim Nance is a dick. The place is filled with entitled fat white Richies and their fat dads and their chubby fat wives. We go every year. It's a tradition like unlike any other. Why, after every single, every single fucking shot, does one asshole have to yell something? Every single time. It's never funny. Get in a hole! Holy fuck, how gay. 